Hello guys, so this week is basically showing why you should care about the people who buy your products. Man, back in the National, the people who act as the people and you know, Tessa Thompson constantly mock the men back fan base. Well, usually a sign of a film's good health is how well it sells on Blu-ray and DVD. Um, Man, back in the National, <laughs> no one's buying it on DVD. Let's look at the DVD sales first for Man Back in the National. These sales for Man Back in the National are absolutely pathetic. 23,000 copies for Man Back in the National. It is being outsold by Gone of the Wind, a movie that has been out for years now, decades. And <coughs> it's outselling a movie, a new movie. That's how poor Man Back in the National is selling on DVD. That... And I, I won't be surprised almost almost everybody owns Gone of the Wind by now, either on VHS or DVD or Blu-ray, okay? Who wanted the movie? The the fact that the people more people are buying that, probably younger people who want who are into movies buying movies and buying all the classic movies. It's also on Man Back and Asshole. Same thing with the Goonies. It is still selling out the Blu-ray charts. Same thing with Matilda, another older movie, and San Andreas. Um, and it is even outselling it than Man Back at the National. Um, the new one, not the old one. But you can see here another movie that didn't do too well is Booksmart. But I probably I bought 95% of Queer Quick said it was a good movie, so I thought it would be a success. You know, it's woke. You know, wokeness doesn't sell, okay? That's just, that's, that's the, that's the motto. Of it, get woke, go book. That's what happened to Ma Man Back in National and Booksmart. The fact that a not well received horror movie is the best selling new release of this weekend can tell you something about the market and the hate towards Man Back at the National and, of course, Booksmart. Two movies that no one wants to buy. Okay. Of course, but the people will be, and it will drop really bigly on the second week. Because, you know what? Man, back then, people are only buying it because it's the only new release, okay? Once it doesn't have that new release advantage, Man, back in the National is going to go straight down. Because no one wants it. Nobody's going to buy it. And that's where Man, back in the National will go. And the, in the realm of movies that no one is going to buy. Then we have Avengers Endgame. Still selling well, Okay. And you know it's still selling well at the It's still selling. It sold three point five million copies. It's it's almost it's going to five million copies so really quickly already. Godzilla King of the Monsters two hundred three thousand three hundred eighty two thousand copies. Godzilla, this is what happens when you give the fan base what they want. Okay, the critics hate it, but the fans of Godzilla love this movie. And the movie, despite not being a massive success at the box office, like they like Resident Evil and Got and the company was hoping Godzilla King of the Monsters is at 765,000 copies. Next is Sequel of Pets 2. People, a lot, this movie gets so many copies, Blu ray and DVD because these kids just want to watch this, okay? And especially towards those holiday days, so we had half a million copies already. Man Back to National Phone sell half a million copies in two weeks. That's for sure, but Pets 2 is still selling on Blu-ray. Rocket Man, nobody really cares about this movie, okay? And mo mostly people who are buying Rocket Man are fans of Elton Zahn. And some people just don't want to buy it because it's too woke for them. Ma, it's a horror movie. It came out and not many people are buying it because it's a horror movie. But it's still doing better than us. The, but the thing, bad funny thing is doing just as well as us. As the in the home release, Detective Pikachu is still doing well. It cost a million copies. Uh, something that man back in the national may never reads at all. Yo, know, they'll probably do the same thing with man back in the national with Ocean's Eight. Try to sell for like five bucks to make sure the movie sells more, but it's not really making a, a lot of money. Okay, then we have it because of the new movie. Um, Book Smart. No one's buying this. I said no one's gonna be buying Booksmart, okay? Booksmart is a movie that is destined to flop, okay? You would think that this movie would sell well because critics were giving it tens out of tens because it's so woke. You know, 
San Andreas with Tilda the Goonies. We don't have to give them any introduction to other it's because a new movie came out. Nickus that just came out too. Uh, selling pretty okay. It's only on DVD, I think. Scooby Doo. Uh, selling really well, despite being only on DVD, selling by the Man Back International. Shazam is at 1.4 million copies, and I, I thought people didn't don't like DC, okay? If people hated DC, no one would be buying it. But Shazam is still selling money, okay? Same thing with Aquaman, especially. Aquaman's even nearly a million. Next week, Aquaman's gonna hit 3 million copies, okay? 3 million copies, that means it's something that Captain Marvel didn't do yet, okay? Aquaman is beating Captain Marvel. In that way, still the hustle. No one's buying that garbage, okay? No one's buying hustle because it's gonna drop out in the second week. Next is the sequel of Pets Two movie collection. Um, oh, we, we we skipped over a few movies, yo. Next is why are people still buying Captain Marvel. This is still probably gonna sell three million copies by the end of the year because of Black Friday and all that and all reasons and the fact that. But still selling worse than Aquaman, okay? It's selling just as well as Aquaman in the same time frame. Which, Aquaman was supposedly a D with superhero because, you know, a, CEO, a superhero constantly mocked because of Super Friends. Um, Super Friends was the reason why people hate Aquaman until the new movie came out. Next is The Dog's Journey. No one's really buying this. Same thing with Brightburn. Like, it's, these movies, it's those movies that tend to do two out the box office. They put them all in one weekend. To, because they knew they just wouldn't sell on DVD and Blu-ray. And because they did Because not many people watched them in the feeders. Same thing with The Hustle. And they knew that Ed Gable could just completely just destroy them. Next is Descendants Free. Why are people still buying this? That's the question, big question here. Why are people still buying Descendants Free? Um, next is um, Apocalypse Now. is selling better than the Pets 2 movie collection. Oh, the Battle Angel is at two eight hundred eight eighty nine thousand copies, nearly nine hundred thousand copies. They thought that this movie wouldn't do well. They thought that nobody cared about this movie. Okay, Oh, the Battle Angel's probably get, uh, at the end beat Man Back in the National. Okay, this is that just shows how few people really care for us. It drops to like a hundred thousand on the second weekend, so around four hundred thousand on the second weekend, and then it's gonna completely drop on its third weekend, and then completely drop out. And same thing will happen to Doc Phoenix as well. Um, I expect Doc Phoenix to be like Soul or Star Wars Story. It do put it much a bit better than it did in feeders. Compared to what it did in feeders. Like Hellboy. Hellboy is no longer on these charts anymore. But Hellboy did massively better than what they did in feeders. But really nobody really cares about Doc Phoenix. Okay. Many people looking for steelbooks are not going to buy the Doc Phoenix steelbook. Okay. More people bought the Alita steelbook. And... Than the Dark Phoenix and Captain Marvel Steelbook, which at the store they can't really seem to get rid of Captain Marvel Steelbook at Best Buy. Okay, they can't really seem to get rid of Captain Marvel. It's like they it's like the sees just sitting down collecting dust. Her movies is completely sitting down collecting dust, okay. On Steelbook, okay. But Avengers sold out on Steelbook, Godzilla sold out on Steelbook. Man Back to Nasty, another movie that's just not selling on Steelbook. People just don't want it. People just don't want this movie. People are overall rejecting these woke movies. And that's a, like, that's, that's look at the why of the Joker movie, okay? Let's look at the why of the Joker. Can can understand why these woke movies just don't want to sell, okay? No one wants these movies, and that's basically it. Man Back to National woke movies just do not sell. 